Hi gang, Scott Davenport here. In this video, I'll show you how to set up Photo Raw as a plugin to Affinity Photo. Really quick, if you like videos like this, enjoy the tutorials, hit that subscribe button, join the channel, hit the bell so you don't miss any videos. And if you're thinking about adding Photo Raw, some other tools to your toolkit, check the links in the show notes. Give me a little support, won't cost you anything extra. So this workflow, this is about using Affinity Photo as your editing hub and then leveraging Photo Raw as a plugin to Affinity Photo. This is not Photo Raw as your hub sending something out to Affinity Photo and back. I have a different video on that. I'll put a link in the show notes so you can find that if that's the type of workflow you're looking for. This is Affinity Photo centric using Photo Raw as a plugin. And so the first thing we need to do is a little bit of setup that you need to do in Affinity Photo to recognize the On One Photo Raw plugins. Let me show you how that works. Open the preferences of Affinity Photo and choose the Photoshop plugins area. There's a few pieces of setup we need to do. The first is allow unknown plugins to be used. Unknown means that Serif, the company that makes Affinity Photo, they haven't necessarily done validation and testing on these plugins, but they are Photoshop plugins, they should work. We know On One has done testing on these with 2021, so we're good to check that box. The second thing for Macintosh systems is to click Authorize Global and just choose your main hard drive where your applications are. That will allow Affinity Photo to find the various supporting files that go along with plugins. This has to do with the, the, the Mac OS security things and letting certain applications have access to certain areas on your computer. The last thing is to add the actual search folders which have the Photo Raw plugins. So I'll click Add here. And I'll go into my applications, find my Photo Raw 2021 folder, and choose the Plugin Files folder and click OK. Nothing looks very promising, right? I don't have any plugins listed here. Well, this nice little note here says we have to restart Affinity for these changes to take effect. So as soon as I hit Close, I'll get this prompt. So if you'd like to restart the application now, I'll choose Restart Now, and then when we reopen this, we'll see those plugins are available. And sure enough, the restart is complete. I see Effects, Develop, and Portrait. Those three plugins are available now in Affinity Photo. Well, uh, let's get a photo loaded up into Affinity. We'll do a quick uh, plugin launch, and you can see the, the full workflow here. All right, so this photo here loaded in Affinity Photo, and let's say we wanted to take this over into Photo Raw's tools like Effects to go do something. We go into our Filters area, Plugins, On One, and I'll choose On One Effects 2021. So we'll take the file, send it on over into the Effects module where I can do some additional edits, some styling, and uh, wipe that to launch here, and we'll get started. The file is in effect and it works you know, just like you would expect it to. Let's uh, just do a couple of quick things here so we know something's changed. Uh, we'll do that. Maybe we'll add a sunshine filter. That should look nice, a little bit of uh, some warm glow there. And for good measure, how about a sun flare? We'll uh, tone that back a little bit. That's a little strong. But, uh, just so we know that something has been done, right? So if I take that all the way down, all the way back. We can see that there have been changes made to this. When I'm all finished, I'll click Done. This will commit those changes and send the resulting file back over into Affinity Photo, right? a standard classic plugin workflow. And there we are. I'm back into Affinity. The changes have been applied. I can see my sun glow there and a little bit of uh, softness I've added to the rest of the trees. So that is the plugin workflow with Affinity Photo and leveraging tools like on one effects or on one develop the various modules you have in photo raw hope you found it useful got questions i'll do my best to answer them drop them below and until next time my name's scott davenport have fun